we want to we want to find the exact value of each of the following. So in other words, don't use a calculator. We want to find the cosine of seven pi over six, and then we want to find the cosine of negative seven pi over six. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one we want notice that seven pi over six is the same thing as six pi over six plus pi over six, which gives us pi plus pi over six. Okay, so what this means is, since we're starting at pi over here on the unit circle, this is where pi is located. And so because it is plus pi over six, that means we need to rotate down from the negative axis, x axis. So when we move down pi over six, that means we get this angle, which is seven pi over six. Next, we want to be able to then find negative seven pi over six. Well, very similar to the previous one, we have negative pi minus negative pi over six. So this means we have to rotate up from the negative x axis to get the angle. So here, what we're doing here is that we're going to rotate up and then we're going to get this angle here, which is negative seven pi over six. Now, these are both shown in the following unit circle as I just shown you along the appropriate coordinates for the intersection points. So from this unit circle, we want to be able to find what is the cosine of seven pi over six. Well, cosine of seven pi over six is the x coordinate of that angle. So therefore we get negative square root of three over two. And then we want to find the cosine of negative seven pi over six. And again, that is going to be the x coordinate of that angle, which is negative square root of three over two. So in this case, cosine function is called an even function. So, and so for any angle, we have cosine of negative theta is equal to the cosine of positive theta. 